what is our organization and our team doing? Well, we've got scientists focused on some of these challenges, water, sustainability, food, nutrients. We are leveraging an academic system of faculty. I'll give you a, a, a metric for that. In the last 48 months, we've signed over 50 agreements with R&D organizations and academic institutes around the world. We used to be US-centric, no longer. I'm talking about organizations and academics from as far east as China and Japan, as far south as South Africa, as far west as, of course, the US, and down into Brazil, across the world. Mm -hmm. Engaging these experts, our faculty peers, and saying, let's work together on this. We can be the catalyst for this. Let's think about some examples, right? South America, probably the most diverse bioecosystem on the planet. Every single potato on the planet came from Peru. If you go to Peru today, there are a thousand plus varieties of potato in that one small ecosystem. So what makes us think that the potato varietals that survive best in Wisconsin are going to be equally at home in Punjab in India or sub-Saharan Africa? That's not the case. Are we going to find the, that varietal in our lab? Or are we going to find it on the hills in Peru? Best in my mind is let's take some scientists, co collaborate with those scientists, and look for the varietal that needs less water, has more stability post-harvest in a dry environment, and maybe has a yield which is much better for that. So that's an example. Look for fruits in South America that could enter our supply chain. There are challenges in our traditional citrus supply chain. For example, greening is a global issue. We can either sit and watch the global citrus crop crash, or we're going to look for varieties and solutions or alternative fruits from these uh, areas. Material science. We're going to solve packaging and shelf life with sustainable packaging. We're going to need to partner with material scientists. We're doing that with universities in Europe and North America. Some of them are with our, working in our traditional industry, others are not. I gave you the example of uh, computer modeling. Instead of building one prototype, which might take you three months, let's model it on a computer. Who's been doing computer modeling of fluid dynamics and processing plants for decades? Petrochemical industry, pharmaceutical industry, the energy industry, right? Why not the food and beverage industry? That takes academic partners. It takes an ecosystem of engineers and mathematicians. So those are examples. I mean, I can go on. I have a passion for this because the knowledge actually doesn't sit within. The powerful knowledge sits when you partner.